So question eight, use the formula. Cos theta is equal to this dot product. If you don't know what that means, obviously you're gonna see it and not have a clue what's going on, but the dot product, three by four plus four by three, three by four plus four by three, divided by the magnitude of each. Now they're both three and four and you'll be able to see a pattern here. The magnitude of both of these is five. The square root of three squared plus four squared is equal to five. That's something they should know by now. So that's gonna be five times five on the bottom. So we're gonna get the inverse cos on top 12 plus 12, on the bottom five by five, and the inverse cos of 24 over 25 is just over 16 degrees. And they asked to the nearest degree here, 16 degrees for part one. I'm gonna write down the magnitude of them all now, just to skip a little bit. The square root of the one i plus seven squared, square root of 50 for this one. This one over here is a one and a one. One squared plus one squared, root two. This one here is five, 25 and nine is 34. This one is, works out evenly, no, 36 and 100, the square root of 136, we just leave it like that. This one is gonna be four and one, so the square root of 16 and one, 17. You'd obviously double check these. The square root this one, five, 25 and one is 26. This one here, 121 and four, square root of 125, 11, 121 and four, and then 125, square root 125. Just makes it a bit quicker. So now the dot products of them all, let's look at the dot product of two, and we're gonna write this out. So we've one by one plus seven by one, all divided by the magnitudes, root 50, multiplied by root two on the other side. So the inverse cos of on top seven plus one eight, and on the bottom we just write root 50 by root two. You don't have to change that if you don't want. What's it gonna become? You're gonna tell me it's gonna become root 100, which is 10. So this is actually the inverse cos of four over five, eight over 10. And the inverse cos of four over five is giving me 37 degrees. I'll just round them off straight away. I'm rounding it up from 36.86 as my dog is having a bad dream. Number three, we have our magnitudes. The dot product is the five by the six. So we could do this in one step, the inverse cos. What are we gonna have on top? Five by six, which will give 30 on the calculator. So we can just set it up like this in one step. We're gonna do that for the rest. And then if I just make it a little bit tighter, the five by the six, and then we're gonna have the minus three by the 10. What's happening here? Minus three by 10. You're gonna see we're gonna get a zero here on top. And if the dot product is equal to zero, we haven't introduced this yet. If the dot product is equal to zero, I wanted to do it by trial. It means that they're at right angles to each other. Therefore, the angle is 90 degrees we may explore a few of these again so it doesn't matter what else is going on down the bottom here in this part so part four the dot product for four let's just give ourselves a bit of room we have four by minus five so we're getting the inverse cos of four by minus five and then we have one and one again plus one by one, all over the product of the magnitudes, which is root 17 by root 26. I'm typing this directly into our calculator. We get the angle, let's just call it A. A is equal to 54.65 degrees to the nearest degree will be 155. You can see here just a bit of practice required for these. It does make mean that you've practiced enough of them then they're imprinted on your brain. The dot product here for the last one, minus 11 by 10. So we're getting the inverse cos of minus 11 by 10, just double check, plus minus two by minus five. Let your calculator do all this for you. That's what it's there for. 
divided by square root 125 by square root 125, which you can see is just going to be 125 straight away. If you want to put in both roots, do. We get, we'll call this one the angle B. And this one is given 163.73. It's also minus 24 over 25, the fraction. So have a look back at the first one and see, can you see a relationship? So this one rounded off is just 164 degrees. And my eyes deceive me. It's 20 over 25. Which again is 0.8 this one is 143 degrees rounded off from 143.13 just to check everything you put into your calculator you will identify mistakes so 140 degrees for the last one in number eight and i'll leave that there and do 9 10 11 in the next one just so we can spread out these videos and make them a little bit shorter